As it happens, Harry, One Click Print are our sponsor for this fight. Absolutely blinding. And it's for the Cage Steel British Super Flyweight title. Introducing first into the blue corner, this fighter is 33 years of age. He hails from Stockport and fights out of 12 gauge MMA with a record of three wins, one loss. Charlotte Killer Cooper. And across the cage in the red corner. This fighter is 18 years of age. He hails from Castleford and fights out of AVT with a record of two wins, two losses. In the red corner, Amy Durbans. When the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Jamie Alderson. Right, fight fans, our first title of the evening, the British Super Flyweight. Cage Steel title. In the blue corner, we've got Charlotte the Killer Cooper, dressed all in black with the long black T-shirt. In the red corner, Amy Dewance, also in black with a short top. I'm Harry Strutt, beside me, Wayne McKenna. Hi, Wayne. Evening, Harry. Ladies representing. That's it, both these girls can bang. Deep stance there by Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte with the big right hand, the Killer Cooper. Looking to connect the hands for a double leg takedown. Yeah, she's pushed Duance against the fence. She's looking to join the hands up behind her. Duance defending well. Yeah, she's got the uh, the underhook on the left hand side, looking to turn her, stand back up. She's so trying to turn her opponent. Amy, just 18 years of age. Though Cooper progressing to double underhooks. She needs to lower her centre of mass, lower her hips below her opponents so she can actually start trying to take her down. Devance chipping away as Cooper vows for position. Yeah, Cooper just using that head, just at jawline, just pushing it away, just so he can't get over the top of her. She needs to lower her hips and, uh, and go lower down. This fight brought to you by One Click Print. Body shots by Cooper. Duane's looking to turn and yeah. escape out of the back. Yeah, that's she's it. She there. looks like she might be able to progress and take the back of Cooper. She's got the uh, the bendy leg that's going over the back, but her head's still caught. She needs to be uh, Cooper needs to be very careful that she doesn't let it go. Of why she's just giving up the back position? Can we see a quick transition? Cooper hanging on tight. It's the uh, the left hook of uh, Amy that she's kept in on the left leg, so it means that she's still got that uh, opportunity to jump to the leg. This is why I do yoga, guys. Wow, <laughs> what a position. Yeah, it is. You don't know where, it doesn't help that they're both dressed in black, but it's, uh, it's literally um, Charlotte Cooper with that right overhook that stopped her taking her back. Um, but now she's gone under, she's got opportunity for that straight leg. Great, great work by Cooper, well defended. Yeah, brilliant idea by uh, Duance as well. Stuff like that just takes hours in the gym of actually just practicing it, getting in those awkward positions. I'll tell you what, I won't like to be one of the judges. How would you score this so far? Yeah, well, I say, a good attack from um, a negative position, as it were, her being pressed against the fence. Final 10 seconds of the round. Cooper landing some uh, shots. Duant's trying to stand up. Yeah, she's getting the smothered there. by Cooper at the minute. Strong finish by Cooper. Yeah, great first round. Obviously, it was the uh, the attacking pressure of Cooper, with the uh, the constant pressure against the fence, going for the takedown, and it was let's say if she'd have let go of that overhook on uh, that right overhook that she had, she'd have um, do answer to progress step back, 
And then, uh, well, who knows what yeah, has happened? It. It's been different sort of fight. So it was the uh, good the fight knowledge. You. Yeah, good knowledge to uh, to know that she couldn't give that up, and it ended up working in her favour long run. Obviously, you have to think it was only first round, but she probably spent a minute and a half just constantly gripped on that shoulder. So her arms now are really going to start feeling that. You can see a coach now. Yeah, he's working well. Working yeah, the those 12, arms shoulders. Yeah, 12 gauge guy. He's uh, he's trying to cool her down. She's still stood up. It really takes the toll, just constant pressure, pushing each other in those uh, those Greco-Roman style wrestling stances. Just wait on wait, just constantly battling. Here we are, round number two. The Cooper versus Duance, 12 gauge versus AVT. We'll see how it uh, progresses now. Nice right hand by Cooper landing on the button. Straight down the center. Yeah, Duant's going backwards now. I don't know if it was, uh, it was a than big than we expected. One yeah, big shot to eat there. Yeah, you see a bit of claret coming from the nose of Duant's. She's got a bit of claret from the nose. She's got that left arm over for uh, to pressure the guillotine, but I don't know if she's going to be able to get it through with the space that she's got. She's got the right butterfly hook, but she's just using that left underhook now um, under the arm to try and pressure her. She still looks in a bit of a bad way, to be fair. She looks yeah. as if she's a bit worried. I, I don't know if it's the claret that's worried her with the nose. Yeah, I think um, the nose could be broken there for, for Duance. It was a well timed right hand, and obviously it must have had some effects because she started going backwards afterwards. Cooper really putting the pressure on. Yeah, Duance just holding on at the bottom, trying to, uh, uh, to keep her in. She's got mad legs, hasn't she? She seems to be able to just bend her legs in any direction possible. <laughs> uh, they just keep appearing over the back of, uh, of Cooper. The Cooper, brilliant uh, fight IQ there, just keeping that head, just pushing in her face. Blood in the eyes, blood going yeah, in the Yeah, exactly eyes that. Once. She's obviously, uh, she's taking a big shot in the nose and she's just rubbing that head in, just grinding it out. There we go. Opportunity now, she's landing a few shots. I think she's got blood in the eyes. Yeah, this is going to be a grueler for Amy. She can't see. Yeah, the eyes really obscured by Amy Dwance. Yeah, see, the blood where she's been laid on her back now is um, starting to... Uh, Going to rise, so she ain't got a good sight. Good pressure by Cooper, just keep her in that position. Cooper chipping away, looking for position. See the split on the nose of Duance, on the bridge of the nose. Last 20 seconds. Legs going over. She's trying to push her away, final 10 seconds. She goes to push her away, she's got that ankle. Has to be very careful, going to do the straight leg in amateur. First round down. Yeah, you can see now, he obviously went for the twisting ankle lock. I don't know if it's caused a problem with uh, Cooper. I can see the uh, the corner team complaining, and she looks a bit dodgy on her legs as well. This is an absolute drama of a fight. Yeah, medics are going to get a good look at the... Uh, I think it's uh, a clean broken nose from... Uh, yeah, Cooper's looking tired, but Duance is looking bloody. This is... Uh, so far, I think Cooper's definitely had that um, pressure on top, and that big right hand really caused the stir. That were like um, one-way traffic after that. Um, wow, patched up and ready to go. <laughs> it 
So as we enter into the second round, sorry, third round, third and final round, Charlotte Cooper versus Amy Vance. Here we are, touch of gloves. Cooper looking for that right hand again. Oh, good attempt at the takedown, puts the leg. Pressure against the fence again, where she previously had some good success. I don't know if she's overdone it, the opportunity to go for the back again like she did in the first round. She's got that left hook in. She's now making the figure four on the ankle. And the fighters are actually over in Amy's corner where the, uh, the fight team, head coach Danny Mitchell, shouting out all sorts of instructions. I say it, they're, uh, they're shouting out for the banana split. They want Amy to drop for that right leg and just separate in a splits type position. Um, she's got it lo locked in on the left hand side. I think she's going to try and use it to sweep. Or, like I say, she can always take the back if, uh, if that right hand goes. We saw from you Cooper. See Cooper just round. punching thigh. Yeah. Cooper's got the defense. You see there, she's, uh, she's gone right down, so she's got that figure four. Oh, she stopped. She had the figure four on the left hand, and then she was going uh, left leg, and then she's going for the right leg with her arms, trying to do the split. We have been in a very similar position in the first round. Uh, we have. A bit of deja vu. Crazy. Can't see from this angle, it looks like there's a, almost a triangle choke happening there. Yeah, like I say, she's figure four that leg. Um, she's waiting to just try and pop out and take her back, I think, but she's also got, like I say, she's risking or she's uh, looking at that banana split, but you can see. I don't know if she's going for the figure four while she's there. Yes, she's, uh, she's got one arm through. If she can put the right leg now, you can see Cooper pushing her back against the fence. Wow, what um, So she can't get the, uh, the right leg across. She's got one hook in already. If Amy can put her right leg across, she's going to take back of, uh, of Cooper. She's still minute. got a minute to play. Has Amy got the gas in the tank? Well, I think if she doesn't, she's going to lose fight. So she needs to risk it, otherwise uh, it's game over anyway. There you go, she's taken. She's a bit high. She might get shaken off, but she's gone for the back. One of the hooks is in, one isn't. So we can see this. It's like a reverse triangle choke from bottom at minute. Um, the positions. Yeah, she's ended upside down. She needs to move backwards. She was too high when she went down. But there's an opportunity for armbar, I think, from bottom. Final Last. 10 seconds. Got opportunity for a triangle. I think it's going to be too little, too late, unfortunately. I think if I was uh, Cooper, I'd, I'd step back and rain down some punches. See, I think at We're the done. time. Yeah, that's it. I think at the time she was just trying to close the distance. Um, I think she was trying to close the distance uh, and just make sure that she wanted that danger after being so successful for the first few rounds. Credit to uh, to Amy Duant as well. Uh, 18 years old, getting a nose bust up in the first round and then just still rocking it for, uh, yeah, for round on. two and three. Wow. And what a well-matched fight again. Another well-matched fight here at Cage Steel. Here we are now, the cage steel boss himself. Dominic Gibbs coming in with the belt. The British super flyweight title. First title of the night. If you're watching at home, guys, this is the real deal. Yeah, these athletes put it all out there. Do you know what I mean? They were, they were, uh, well, look at them both now. Absolutely exhausted. So you want to be a fighter. Champion rounds, and the new Cage Steel British Super Flyweight Champion in the blue corner, Charlotte Cooper. And please, 
a huge, huge round of applause for an outstanding opponent in Amy Devant. Well done, ladies. There you go. We have tough guys. We have even tougher women. Charlotte Cooper, Amy Devance. British super flyweight title goes to Cooper of 12 gauge. I say it's Charlotte the Killer Cooper going to 4 and 1. And we'll see her again to defend the title here at Cage Steel.